congratulations, Elle. You have won the Waterstones Children's Book Prize. How does that feel? <laughs> um, I actually can't describe it. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. <laughs> um, it's so incredible because I looked at that shortlist and I thought, okay, yeah, there's no way. So, because um, there's so many fantastic uh, books on there. In fact, it's probably one of the best lists I've seen this this whole year in terms of awards. So it's incredible. Uh, I'm so grateful to my, if I can say thank you to people quickly, um, my, my agent, Lauren, and Knights of our incredible publisher who have, uh, <laughs> they've just won the Carnegie. Um, but this, this is incredible. It's just, they are the most incredible publisher and they they've really looked after me and um but mostly thank you to the Warstons booksellers because this is the most incredible the mo I'm trying to be serious but I'm also like hysterical but it's <laughs> it's the most incredible thing like the most incredible thing so <laughs> you, but yeah <laughs> let's talk a little bit about the book because as you say there's been a lot of love uh and, and uh sort of so many people have taken this book to their heart but i wonder if you could tell us first of all where the spark for a kind of spark came from where did this story begin for you it was kind of two things because i've i'm scottish and i grew up around um stories about the scottish witch trials which is what the book is about and i found them fascinating and intriguing and i thought they, they'd make a really good uh subject matter for for a story one day um, and then on the other hand I was sort of feeling a little bit uh, let down by the lack of neurodivergent protagonists in kids publishing it just felt like it was it was a point of view that wasn't being um, explored and I, I wanted to see a, a heroine who was autistic but also had you know was this very much the main character in the driving seat and not uh, a, a burden on the side character or a, an, an obstacle that had to be overcome which is sometimes what uh, can be done and so I wanted to see someone with a lot of agency and a lot of heart and then those two things kind of came together and and that was spark and I think the first draft was written quite quickly when those when those things came together it just kind of worked. <laughs> and you've spoken a little bit about the support you got from Knights of as a publisher obviously when the book then goes out into the world two things that have happened with this book one is that booksellers immediately latched onto it and found something in it that they could put in people's hands and then readers have responded to it and could you tell us a little bit about what it's been like to kind of get that feedback from both of them yeah it's been I mean, those are the two groups that I personally wanted on side um we've been so lucky to have also teachers and librarians and all all and you know of other countries that have been great but it was always booksellers and readers because it's particularly with children's books I know how incredible those recommendations are when they come from a bookseller who knows what they're talking about and who really cares about the books that they're putting in children's hands so yeah that was even with, with the pandemic thrown in that was always so important to us um knowing that because they're a small publisher we just knew that, that bookshops were our our ally and and it was so, so incredible that that people took to the book um I still can't believe some of the support and then as I said the sort of the response from readers has been extraordinary and part of that is to do with having a neurodivergent character in a book that people can identify with would be really important if you happen to be a neurodivergent reader but also of course there are people who are neurotypical and would be learning something really extraordinary from the book tell us yeah. a little bit about that well, there's kind of three camps. There's people who read a kind of spark and they see themselves in it and they and they really love it, or they see something for the very first time that they never realized. We get incredible letters and messages from people saying, This has started my diagnostic process, or this is, you know, my child is now very happily using the you know the, the name autistic, which they weren't before. So that's one camp. And then there's the second camp, which is people who are learning, and especially with teachers and librarians, like I said, they really use it as a resource. And, and some people write in and say, this is better than any training I've had. Um, and then the third camp is just um, readers who just really love the story. And I just did a school visit and it's kids who just want to act out the whole thing for me and and do all, do all the characters and, and put costumes on. And it was just fabulous. So it's three incredible kind of camps of reader and and they're all overwhelming I mean it's particularly overwhelming to see when people feel represented that's incredible 
You've spoken in the past about how poor the representation has been in children's fiction uh, in the past. How does it feel to know that your book will now be held up as a really great example of representation? It's, a, it's incredible. It's also a little scary because um, I've always said like this is one this is one way to be neurodivergent um, and hopefully it will open the door for many many more um, points of view but it, it is incredible it's such it's it's something I take very seriously it was something from the very beginning that you know, the reason I was with Nights of is because they specialize in inclusive books and we all said from the beginning this has to be um, done properly you know I I, it's my lens, it's my point of view, it's my 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 experience, but I still have to be very uh, careful. So yeah, we we put story first and we we consulted with other voices and we I think we got I think that's why we got the result that we did and why it resonates with people so well. Um, so yeah, it's quite intimidating. <laughs> Shouldn't be intimidating. You'd be very proud. Elle, from everyone at Waterstones, all the booksellers uh, and everyone that I've spoken to, we have a lot of love for this book. We are absolutely thrilled for you. So we want to say just once more, congratulations. Thank you so much, Waterstones. Like you'll never know. I can't. I'm not very good with describing this feeling, but um, it's unbelievable. The Washington's booksellers have been in a very difficult year they have been I'm getting emotional but they have been unbelievable so to all of the booksellers I'll just say a huge thank you